Sometimes the problem we have is because we can't hear God clearly. We have so much noise going on around us that it drowns out the voice of God. So here's the thing. We have to learn how to connect to God directly. I had to get to a point in my life where I didn't feel like I needed to run to a pastor. I didn't feel like I needed to run to a minister, a friend, a, a loved one, whoever. I didn't feel like I needed to run to anybody to hear from God because that's the problem. God wants, God has did all of this. He's made provision for you to have a direct relationship with God. And that's what he desires most. And so sometimes in order to get back in communication with God, we have to disconnect from the external voices. And so I decided to, like right now, I decided to take some time off of social media Um and, you know, right now it's like the end of October and I'm like, you know what? I don't feel creative. I don't know what you want me to talk about, Lord. <laughs> what you want me to talk about? You know, I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing right now? I'm getting <laughs> distracted. <laughs> or how about you hear a message, right? You hear somebody say something. And then you get on social media and you start scrolling, you see these different quotes and, you know, the algorithm going to show you what it thinks you want to see based on your, what you've been looking up, what you've been searching, what you've been talking about. You see stuff and there's stuff that starts to clash. It's like, okay, you heard this. So now you feel like God is saying this, but then on the other side, this is saying the complete opposite, but it sound right too. And it's like, now you got all this information and you don't know what God is saying because you're listening to what the world is saying. You're listening to what social media is saying. You listening to what people are saying. And I'm not saying that those people are, are not saying whatever God is telling them to say. But the thing is, what is God telling you? The word for somebody else may not be your word. You may be grabbing hold to words that don't belong to you. Because we are all at different points in life. We all are walking. Uh, we all are walking towards um, heaven, right? We all are walking towards kingdom and wanting to fulfill purpose and calling. But we're all so different that we're in different stages of our walks. Our lives look different, and there are different things that God is doing for you specifically that He's not doing for somebody else. Therefore, you cannot grab hold to every word that's out there because all the information that's out there doesn't mean that it's for you. And so when you're listening to too many voices, you yourself can call, become confused as to what God is really saying. Because this person is over here preaching real good and it sounds real good and it's lining up with the word of God. But that may not be your word for this season. This person is speaking what God is trying to tell you, but you so distracted because what you really want is what this pastor is talking about because it sounds like that's what you want for your life right now instead of this word over here that's going to cause you to deny your flesh and be patient and wait. So here's the problem. You're in a predicament. And right now, you're turning to the outsource to hear from God. What are you doing in your quiet time? Are you having quiet time? God is calling you to come into relationship with him. He wants you to cast your cares on him. He wants to commune with you. He wants you to know him. He wants you to get to know him. He wants you to hear directly from him. He doesn't need anybody to tell you anything because if he did, he would have them do it. And so taking a break off social media is encouraged. Turning off the TV and stop watching stuff. Don't even turn it on. It's encouraged. Unplugging from external voices. It's encouraged. So you can have the opportunity to get in God's word. During this time, open up your Bible and read it. God speaks to you through the scriptures. During this time, pray. What does prayer look like? Prayer can be so many different types of things. It can be just like this, how I'm talking to you right now. 
I talk to God like this all the time. I bet my, my kids are so used to me, like, just having a conversation. Just like this, I'm like, hey, good morning, God. God, thank you for this day. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I be listen, I laugh. I be saying some stuff, and I laugh at myself. though, Because God wants you to have a relationship. We're not putting on a play and acting like our favorite pastor and how they pray. And I'm not ever, listen, there's different ways to pray, but I want you to get to the point where you can feel comfortable coming to God just like this, having a regular conversation with God. Sometimes the moment will get intense and you tap into the spirit and you start warring and you sound like you going to war in your prayers. And that's fine, but that's not what your, that doesn't mean that that's the, that's the, that's how you should pray every single time. If that's how you praying, that's fine. But God also wants you just to come to him like a son, like a daughter. Right? Yeah. So in the past, I would depend on other people and I would start to lean on them as the person to tell me whatever God was saying. And that posed as an issue because that means that now my relationship with God is being crippled because I have placed somebody in between me and God. God sent his son to bridge that gap. So we don't have to depend on other people to get in connection to God. Right? So the point of this video really is just to share because I see the importance of really being connected to the vine, really being connected to God, because that's how you're going to bear fruit anyways. That's what the word says. You can't bear fruit if you're not connected to the vine. Get connected to the vine. Get connected to God, to God's word. Even if that means that you have to start small. I don't know where you are in your walk with Christ. You could be a new believer. You could be well off in years of being a believer. Wherever you are, start somewhere. Maybe that's reading devotionals. Use the YouVersion Bible app. Read the devotionals. Get a Bible that you can understand. They have different translations. And when I say translations, I mean there's New Living Translation. There's the NIV. There's, the, of course, the King James Version, the New King James Version. There's different versions of the Bible I personally use the New Living Translation and I use a life application Bible because I want to apply the word to my life. And I like to have that at the bottom to help. It's a study Bible. They have different kinds of study Bibles as well. Invest in your spiritual growth because what you won't work on, you will remain weak in. If you don't work on your spiritual life with God, then it will remain weak and you will not hear him. How are you going to exercise and grow in your faith if you don't exercise? Same thing in the physical. If you don't exercise, how are you going to get in shape? By just kick back, sitting back? No. You got to put forth some effort. So in this hour, we are in the, the last days, right? I don't know when the last day of earth is going to be. All right. It could be while I'm alive. It could be some years after I'm already passed away. The point is, the timing, listen, God's time, what, what does the Bible say? That a, a day is like a, like a thousand years or something like that? Or it, to God, like, we don't, we're not operating on the same time, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay? We ain't operating on the same time. So the point of the matter is, in this season of life, you've got to be able to discern the voices. You've got to be able to know what is God and what is not? Because there are people that are sounding real good, but they are not from God. There are people in disguise. They are wolf in sheep's clothing. They are people, even they may not even be aware that they just spewing out information that's not even true. I find it real hard. For, I, I, I ain't gonna get into that. But you gotta be able, you gotta be able to discern right from wrong. You also want to ask God for the gift of discerning of spirits because people operate behind spirits are operating behind people, and there are some spirits operating behind people, and we think all is well. 
but it really ain't. So be careful. I ain't trying to scare nobody. I just want you to be aware that God wants you to grow in relationship with him. Tune out the extra voices. If you can't hear God, this is what I want you to do. I want you to disconnect from the external voices. That means stop watching TV. Stop getting on social media. Take a break. Okay? Stop listening to a thousand pastors. Whoever God tells you to listen to, listen to that one pastor. Okay? You do not need to listen to a thousand sermons from different people. That's going to confuse you. Who does God want you to listen to? Listen to them, okay? Next, have you want to take it to a more intense level? Fast. I know that you're unplugging from TV. I know that you are unplugging from social media, and you may want to call that a fast. But what I mean is actually spend some time fasting from food, abstaining from food, even if it's a few hours in the day. It could be from six to six. You know what I'm saying? Like, Really get connected. You don't want to read your Bible. Your Bible is boring. You don't understand. Ask God to open up your understanding and help you to understand what you're reading. Sometimes you got to push through. You read, open up the Bible and start reading. You may not be interested in what you're doing, but it's the it's you exercising. It's you pushing past the resistance. Just like working out. You may not want to exercise. It may be too heavy. It may be too hard. But when you start pressing in, it gets easier and you're able to get it and you're able to build up your endurance. That's the same thing I want you to do right now. You may not want to pray. Pray anyway. Talk to God. Just, God, I need your help. I am willing, but my flesh is weak. My spirit is willing, but my flesh is weak. I need help. Give me the desire to want to learn more about you. Give me the desire to want to seek your face. Give me the desire to do what pleases you. Be transparent. Don't overthink it. Just exactly how I'm just saying it just now. Go to God just like that. Just like that. He already know who you are. He knows. You got to feel comfortable coming to God. Right? And you will begin to grow. He will send the people you need in your life. He will send whoever you need to be listening to. He'll show you. Whatever you need to be reading, he'll show you. He's your guide. He says that he is your guide. He's your shepherd that you shall not want. He leadeth you and maketh you lie down in green pasture. He restores your soul. <laughs> right? There's so many verses in the Bible where God is saying that he is with you. He's just waiting. He's just waiting. He's like, I was waiting for you to seek me. I was ready to be found. I was ready to answer, but you never called out to me. This is what God says in his word concerning the children of Israel, but we are just like them. God was waiting to be found, but we didn't seek. He was ready to listen, but you didn't talk to him. Connect with God today. That's it. That's all. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>